Right, my latest acquisition, Joseph Falk over type. Don't know the model number. This is straight from the box, just been posted through. I did fire it up just now, but I had too much water in it, my favourite problem. So, anyway, this is. Should be enough steam there now. How's that? Oh, look at that. Lovely. Beautiful engines, especially the larger forks. Fantastic engines. Fantastic money to go with them and all, but uh, the one is quite reasonable. Look at that, very smooth. It also reverses as well. In fact, the other way. Hello Tim. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well pleased with that. I'm not going to do very much to this. Um, just clean it up really. I may spray that firebox. If I can mask it off, I'm not going to take it apart. Um, I don't want to ruin all that lovely patina or that blue in on the um, the boiler they put on it. It's really very attractive. A lot of power there. Lots of power. Small double burner in there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just uh, there we go. Oh, we've got the camera. Small. Let's walk about. Don't hold it. Let me fix it down. Really. That is, when I put my finger on those flywheels, that actually starts to burn my finger with the friction. That is quite a powerful engine. That could run a lot of things. You have a nice pulley system. Like all these engines, you just will wish you had a, a control valve on it. It's quite difficult to fit on this though. A tiny little steam pipe, you'll have to bring it out here and back in again. But um, then you ruin the engine, really, don't you? But, uh, yeah, they really do need a control valve. Well. Little bit of water coming out from the valve there. Uh, don't worry about that too much. What a date this is, probably about I don't know, 1920s. I think we're running out of meths. Have a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Nearly gone. Bloody me wicks. Well, there you go. Joseph Falk, overtype. 1920s. Thank you. stop eventually yeah. <laughs> that's it